The Tribal Chief Roman Reigns made his return to WWE at SummerSlam 2024 and did so by reestablishing the order of things in the company and also reaffirming his position at the head of the table in the bloodline and claiming himself to be the original Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns and this character that we are seeing, the aura that he has, and everything about him that makes him undeniable was not something that happened overnight. This has been nearly a decade-long journey into getting this version of Roman Reigns. Someone who, as Cody Rhodes would say, went from undesirable at one point to un goddamn deniable and in this video we're gonna take a look back at roman's career and look at exactly how we got to this point and how roman reigns became the center of the wwe universe and this unmistakable aura finally finally by god finally came to fruition before we get to that though be sure to hit that like button subscribe and hit that notification bell this is the undeniable aura of roman reigns Roman began his journey in wrestling back in 2010 under the moniker of Liaki in WWE's then developmental brand FCW and wouldn't end up coming up to the main roster until two years later. But we already knew at that point that Roman had all of the tools that he needed in order to be a success story in the company. He had the look that everyone wanted. He also had the name and the record. Roman Reigns went to Georgia Tech as a football player and was a blue chip prospect for WWE at the time. And then you also add in the fact that he was part of this illustrious Anuai family that has produced several different WWE Hall of Famers like Rikishi, The Rock, Rocky Johnson, and Peter Mavia, the expectations on Roman Reigns were already sky high. And when he did debut with the Shield on the main roster, he was positioned as the heater, the guy who was going to be the powerhouse while Rollins and then Dean Ambrose were in the match for the most part and really were the ones who did the heavy lifting. Roman Reigns came up, cleaned up, and established dominance and this ability to establish dominance is something that has followed Roman throughout his entire career and even when the booking wasn't there we all knew that he had that ability in him and that's kind of what has helped the Roman Reigns character over time kind of stay at this level of someone we all knew had the potential to be the top dog in WWE. As we move forward, Roman Reigns then eventually went on a singles run with a great performance in the 2014 Royal Rumble, only finishing second to Batista that year. But then in 2015, we got the big moment. Roman Reigns winning the 2015 Royal Rumble, but doing it at a time where you could argue Roman wasn't supposed to be the guy and the story going into it wasn't really that much of a story. It was just... We all know Roman's great, so let's just have him win. And one of the things that was really prevalent in WWE at the time was pushing down stars that fans really liked and really wanted. They would stuff people down your throats who didn't really have a backstory. And one of the biggest problems of Roman Reigns then was he was essentially the same person as he was in The Shield. Same gear, same entrance music, same vibe, no aura. And... When you have that compared to someone like, at the time, Daniel Bryan, who was coming off of main eventing WrestleMania the year prior, who was making his return to professional wrestling after nearly a year away from a neck injury, and he had already announced that he was going to be in the Royal Rumble, the fans only wanted one thing. They wanted Bryan that year. And by putting Roman in that spot, it left a horrible taste in everyone's mouth. A taste so bad that even The Rock Roman Reigns' Hollywood starlight cousin couldn't even save that moment. And this trickled on throughout the years. In 2016, Roman Reigns finally became the WWE Champion. But again, it was the same look, same song, no character, no aura. 
and over time as the years went on and Roman continued to pile on winning main events against The Undertaker at WrestleMania, facing Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania in 2018 in one of the most infamously poorly received WrestleMania main events of all time, it was clear at that point that the Roman Reigns character was lost. Everyone before this knew that Roman could be the guy, and there was even an inkling of fans wanting him to be the guy. The issue wasn't with Roman himself. It was with the fact that at no point did Roman distinguish himself as a character that we should care about. At no point was Roman positioned to be this ultimate badass. Instead, WWE went directly into making him the suffering suck it ass, all white meat baby face that no one at the time wanted him to be. And that is what caused this friction. The company wanted Roman to be something that he absolutely was not. And the fans wanted him to be something that was entertaining, that was lively, that was engaging, something that was more authentic to what we all know Roman could be. But it never happened. And for a couple of years there, we all thought it would never happen. And the lowest point of his career was arguably that 2019 run where Baron Corbin on SmackDown poured dog food on him. And it was one of the most poorly received segments in WWE history. And it coincided with a really bad break for the product as ratings ended up declining and they ended up losing in popularity to AEW. So at that time, we all thought Roman was lost, but then COVID happens. And when COVID happens, Roman takes some time off and we end up getting this massive return at SummerSlam 2020. And it's immediately made clear that this is a different Roman Reigns. Instead of having no one by his side, he has Paul Heyman, someone who has been synonymous with only positioning himself with primetime players. And you also had Roman Reigns coming out with a very different attitude. He wasn't coming out to be the good guy. He wasn't coming out to be, you know, happy-go-lucky Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns was coming out to win. This attitude that he had, the badass nature that he exhibited was exactly what the fans had been wanting. And over the years, as the mythos of this long title reign built, so did the aura of the tribal chief. And it got to a point in 2022 where when Roman won the WWE Championship, unifying it with the Universal title, he became undeniable. So at that point, you had the talent, you had the badass nature that people had been wanting, and the only piece that was missing was the story to make them care. And while Roman was great and people were really hot about him and he was very much so cheered, when the bloodline story with Sami Zayn, Jimmy, and Jey Uso went into full effect, that is when the Roman Reigns character switched up from a regular wrestling character to something that transcends professional wrestling. The aura that Roman Reigns had after that encounter with Sami Zayn, the aura that Roman Reigns had after coming out of that feud with Jey Uso, the aura that Roman Reigns had coming into his matches with Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania in back-to-back -back years was something that can only be described as mythical. And that is why when after months away from TV, where we didn't know whether or not Roman Reigns could come back, and after Solo Sokoa in the story had already taken over Roman's bloodline, proclaiming himself to be the tribal chief, throwing Paul Heyman to the wayside, when Roman returned, it meant something. It made you feel, because you had been on this journey with him. You had been on this journey of him being shoved down our throats, him being someone that no one really wanted in the main event, and now all we want is this guy. This Roman Reigns is a manifestation of almost a decade of hard work and perseverance by the man Joe Anuai. This version of Roman Reigns is the very epitome of what people wanted nearly a decade ago and what people have been arguing Roman always should have been. This Roman Reigns is the undeniable best in WWE. And I just think we're getting started. Imagine what is next. 
you have a potential match with The Rock at WrestleMania 41. An eventual rubber match with Cody Rhodes for the WWE Championship. And so much more story to tell with the Bloodline Saga that doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon. And at the end of the day, Roman is at the center of it all. And he is at the center of the WWE Universe.